Let's do some trading with Phil Striebel, joining us from Blue Line Futures. He's the chief market strategist. Uh, Phil, this week it ends a little bit quiet, but it wasn't short of some uh, fireworks. So some of the big tech names and winners slipping, bonds a little active. What's the top story for you going into next week? Oh, it's going to be, we have a whole ton of economic data coming out next week. I mean, there's going to be a lot of volatility. You've got, uh, I was writing an article this morning. I said, you better buy a five, you know, five-star harness if you're going to trade the next week with, you got the flash PMIs, you've got consumer confidence, you got the Federal Reserve probably going to raise rates again. You got ECB, Bank of Japan, initial claims. So it's just a ton of data that's going to move around all these risk assets. Hey, for all the movement potential, one is stuck in the category of risk assets. Bitcoin at 30,000, is this like the quicksand area on the chart or what? All right, so you remember when I said it was going to zero? Obviously that didn't happen and since well, then it's up about- you gotta give that time. Eight. A target like that, Phil, doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> it took, it, so it's up 80%. But yeah, I day. remember, that's why you're back on the show. I love <laughs> you, Phil. <laughs> so uh, up 80% year to date, Ether's up 50%. You know, I saw a news article, Dogecoin leads the way. And the bartenders, they're back talking about it. When you when you hit the bar after work, they're going to be talking about it. <laughs> so right, you I'll go to a different bar. They're hey, talking Doge, some, I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you got variables out there. You got the SEC versus Ripple. You got, you know, what's the regulatory framework? What happens once all the Bitcoin is mined and what is the ETF demand once, um, you know, the spot Bitcoin ETFs approved? So I think we came up to a natural level here. It's kind of do or die. It's either going to break out to the upside or sell back off. You know, me personally, I've never really been that much of a fan. I say you own it if the dollar demise is accurate. Um, like a lot of people are talking, a lot of those, you know, like, you know, off, off the off the beaten path newsletters, you know, and if there's global war. So what I don't like is yesterday you saw U.S. equities, bigger risk off move. What did Bitcoin do? It moved a thousand dollars. I don't want to see that kind of volatility. And, you know, you got RFK. He's talking about back in the U.S. dollar with uh, with Bitcoin. And then uh, <laughs> one, one more thing. What does here. that so even mean? I, the, I, I liked your chat. Um GPT hat that you had on. So I went on there and I asked what Bitcoin and Ether will be in five years. And it told me Ether $12,539. And it told me Bitcoin will be $95,500. That's what Chad, G that's Chad GPT's call? That's what it gave me. Oh, wow. So that's like the anti Streeble. That's like the inverse Streeble call there for the price action. Do you think that the potential for a spot ETF is that big of a deal? Or uh, is that just going to be a way for early holders just dump it on more people? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I don't I don't think that it's going to have that much of a demand. I think that there's just too many avenues for people to get exposure to that market. There's too many, you know, other cryptocurrencies out there and everything. There, it just it just it's already it's already been saturated. I actually think that this is really late to the game. So the idea is that it's going to, you know, the corners say it's going to usher in a new type of buyer. But I guess you would argue then it sounds like if you really want to buy crypto, you can do it in a ton of different ways by this point. It's not like it was five years ago. You don't have to log on to some weird site. I mean, uh, I can buy futures right now. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I just, I just think price. that really, like, if you're going to own Bitcoin, you got to take it off of any kind of network. You got to have it in cold storage. That way you have it. Because other than that, really, you know, you open up an account somewhere, you buy Bitcoin, you're just a claim against, you know, what the holdings are. You're just like when you give your money to the bank, you hope that they got it in the vault when you want it. True. What else stands out to you as a macro trade? Anything ahead of next week, Fed? I, what, well, one thing I'm watching right now is the Dow on today for the last 15 out of 22 years has been down on the day. So I want to see if it closes in the red. So that's where like I'm really watching at the moment out of the corner of my eye. But it is the Fed next week. What kind of tone is there? Are they one and done You know, going forward? So that's really the big standout. We trade a lot of precious metals at Blue Line. So the initial claims number has been like kind of a gut punch when it comes out because you don't know if it comes out a lot softer, it shows strength in the labor market, puts pressure on, you know, the gold market, thinks that the Fed's going to keep raising rates. So that's something that we've been concerned about, you know, as far as a, a number that's been difficult to predict recently. Like you mentioned the gold there. Last thing, if you'll indulge me, is gold stable on the week despite that drop after jobless claims didn't drop too far is that impressive or is it um what does it tell you so 
So if you look in like 2018, when the Federal Reserve, they were still quite hawkish, they said that they were going to raise rates three more times. They ended up not raising rates at all. GDP slipped, the business cycle peaked, and they started to cut rates. I think that if you look at some of the models that like hedge funds and independent research companies are putting out, they do expect that GDP will slip down going into 2024, the first quarter. And that's when I think that the Federal Reserve is back on their heels. They might have to cut rates after that. And I think that's a springboard to take the gold market up to 2500 All right. A lot of levels, a lot of specifics. And you are right now five basis points away from a drop in the Dow. Thanks, Phil. I'm Good combo. It. Always a fun one on a Friday. I appreciate it, Phil Striebel. Blue Line Futures. Let's talk some more about next week with our Schwab team. A couple of great guests joining us next. Keep your Howard.